it so everybody can hear us. That's all good. I'm just waiting. Good. Yeah, we're just waiting for a few more. I, I have the script. We are ready. Look at this. Mm. Do, do you think we're looking? Oh, did we get a new build? We didn't even get a new house. It's too painful to talk about, isn't it? We'll tell you about that. We'll yeah. Yes, we'll yeah. tell you about that. Hello, Angela. How are you? Um, that's okay. okay. Oh, we oh, went good. up. Oh, we came. Yes, our Darfish is special. Yeah. Yes, mm, we yes, did. we are. We and you never know what county we're going to turn up in, do you? We do get about, we do. That's mm. not, oh, that's okay then. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us um, on our festive, um, our festive Q and A session. Um, in our kitchen. In our kitchen. We give you a different view. Actually, um, Anne Bowman, Anne Bowman, who's one of our, uh, one of our Bovis homeowners, um, she uh, she asked us if we could have a review of our house. And uh, hi, Sharon. Um, they asked for a review of our house, and I thought it's far too messy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm saying we're we're messy people. But it's just a few. We've got a lot of boxes. Yeah, at the moment. we are. And we'll tell you a little bit about. We'll tell you a little bit about mm -hmm. that. Um, that that soon. Oh, um, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, two tone kitchen. It's not new though. Well, it, it was new last year. It, it is new. It is. Yeah. <laughs> But this is probably more than you're going to see of our house, isn't it, really? This it is. is it is. It? There it isn't is. really much more to it because it's only small. It is actually. Um, it is small. It's small. Yeah. Anyway, what I want to ask you first of all is, have you? how many of you have watched the Christmas special you've been putting out? So far. Because? Because obviously it goes on all week. Yeah, and if you think about it, um, if you think about it, I've actually, um, I've actually... I've just lost the words. I'm just thinking whether uh, I need to just do some. Uh, just put the internet, shall you? Right. Just need to do something. Okay. Yeah, that jumper. I know what you mean, Sharon. What's yeah. she saying about my jumper? Well, <laughs> you need to get another one. What do you think of my uh, decorations behind? That's okay. I was having um, we were having some technical di technical difficulties there. Mm. Um, is everybody getting the stream okay? And it's not too jumpy. Thank you, Connor. Yeah, and that's it. I'm here. I'm here now. I'm here. Look. Right. So yeah, did everybody enjoy the Christmas special? It's not even over yet. No. We've what have you done? Five. Yeah. So five. Which, so five. There's five more to come. Five more. So you've got yeah. five more of that Christmas special to go. Well, go on until what day is it today? Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, New Year's Day. I think is yeah, the last one. Yeah. Aren't yeah. you lucky? We've worked so hard on that, haven't we? Yeah. Um, and it was a mammoth, mammoth task. And you can see we even braved the we even braved the, um, the snow and the ice. Yeah. Yeah. My Christmas jumper look, I can only I've only got five days left of wearing it before it it has to go in the cupboard forever. Do you no. want to have a proper look at it? No, oh no. What what I think they've they've seen it anyway. Actually, it's, it's video. Looks backwards, doesn't it? It is, you've got yeah. Yeah. So if you can read backwards you can read what but that at least says. Xmas behind us is the right way yeah. round on yeah. the screen, isn't it? Yeah, because Except for your arm is in the way. There you go, look. <laughs> There's a little, in our kitchen, we've put a little shrine to Christmas at the back yeah. there. Can you see it? Yeah. little shrine to Driving Christmas. Driving home for Christmas. Yes, anyway. Anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, yeah, we tried, to, we tried to bring you something different. I mean, I know some of you guys have been with us nearly over a year now watching our, watching our videos. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, give us a thumbs up if you've been here, more than if you've watched Showrooms Online for over a year. So how many of you watched it? Watched us on Showrooms Online for over a year. Mm -hmm. Oh, Connor's come up with some ideas. So, oh, we've got some, uh, we've got some thumbs up. Look, look at that. Yes, Brilliant. that's it. That's it. The old timers. Oh, the... I think Linda's been been with us longer. Yes. And the rare. <laughs> well, we... I mean that's why we thought we'd just 
we do the special ones because we know that that some developers make that little bit of extra effort at, uh, at Christmas. Not everybody, they don't all do it. And we were disappointed with some of them. And some of them that had two show homes, one was Christmassy, one wasn't. So we, we did a bit of a mix, didn't we? But anyway, we've got loads more to come after Christmas once we finish the Christmas special. Yeah, we have had a back, we have actually got a big backlog, haven't we, of, of, um, yeah, of videos. Anyway. But how oh, good, you mean we treated you to two show homes on both on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Yeah. How, how good was that? Just excuse me again, technical difficulties. Oh, Steve. I'm in charge of media. Okay, just give me a minute. That's it, we're done. That's okay. Hello, Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Oh. Now, we want to just tell you a little bit about Amanda. Amanda, love, who's just joined us. Yes. Now, you know today's fantastic show home, that lovely country house we did, um, the one in Dorrington, the Fars at Bradfield? Yeah. Well, that's Amanda's show home, that is, and I, I'm sure Amanda's absolutely love. She's only got a few houses left on it, hasn't she? Two. But I'm sure she's yeah. absolutely loved selling that, that development. Um, and, and I think we, and we've enjoyed showing it to you all. Yeah, and that's it. And I hope you've just. I think actually it's had two hundred views since um, I, I last looked a few about twenty minutes ago. Oh, that's good going. So that's not bad. Um, but it is really, really. So hang on. Angela says I subscribed to your very first channel. What? You actually subscribe to our original channel? Oh, Mia's asking about your jumper. Where's it from? <laughs> Uh, actually, it's no, from. I think she just said, "Where's your Christmas jumper?" It, it says, "Where's your Christmas jumper from?" Oh, well, Emma, you bought it on Facebook. Yeah, it's actually an official Only Fools and Horses merchandise um, shop, and I just thought I'd go for something a little bit different rather than all the the, the reindeer and the the mince pie and the. And you told me about it, and I didn't think it was a real website. Yeah, did I? You no, know she actually did. She, I, so... I, I said I wanted it, and then she tried to cheekily wrap it up as my Christmas, uh, my birthday present. Can you believe that? Women, only women will do that, won't they? Something for nothing, I suppose. Yes, the only women, only women will do that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I mean, um, and yeah, Angie, you've been with us that long from the original channel. Not many people probably know we had an original channel because um, we've gone through some different names over the years. Like New Homes Historian was kind of our, originally. Then we were called the Show Home Inspectors, which we didn't kind of really go down very well. Um, and then I come up with the genius idea of show homes online, which is what we what we are now, which is which is good. And um, we've we've also got our website's been sorted out now, so we've got a really good website online. Um, you can have a look at now. And there's a great page on there called Directory, isn't there? Yeah. Where you can actually see all of the developers that we've got videos. If you click that, if you click the developer, so say for instance you're looking for a Linden Homes house. You just click Linden Homes and it'll take you direct to that playlist. It's actually very good to work very hard on that. It is if you go via the website, but you can just do the same thing through yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Just a bit more of a one... The way you find just, us. Yeah. I keep hearing sleigh bells. <laughs> it's me. It's my uh, antlers, yeah. Well, guys, um, we'll tell you first about... Um, with, oh, hang on a minute. Hey, that is true. How many of you saw us on DIY SOS? Um, did anybody see us on that? I know a couple. You've somebody's just said about that. Um, <laughs> Mia, oh. hey Mia, thank you for those lovely kind words that you give. You sent us earlier on. She was having a nice bath. She yes. says, and then she was binging out on show owned online videos. Mm. She was. You was. Um, yeah. Did, so did anybody catch us? So yeah, did you? Yeah. Oh, Will Fox is on on online. Just being nosy. He's one of my uh, one of my merry men in my landscaping business. Um, a great guy. Um, and uh, yeah, so we you did, did. Thank you, Will. We did. Yeah, yeah. Will, did you? Will, did you catch it on DIY SOS? 
Um, but yeah, we were we were on it, and actually, not a lot of you know that we've got me and Will have actually me, Will and Emma have actually done another DIY SOS, which is on in the spring, um, and we built a fantastic garden there. So that's our other life. That is, we also Emma mm. is a garden designer, um, and I go out and do all the hard work with Will. You see, yeah. um, you know. So guys, if you've got any any. Um, they, they want Linda said she wanted more Emma and Steve on that episode. Mm. You know, I actually had a broken arm on that episode, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Broken arm and freezing to death. And actually, and it was so it, it was that. Oh, Stuart, nice to see you, mate. Nice to see you there. Stuart's a good a good little follower of mine. He's good lad. I like Stuart. I've seen the one with the stream through. Was it a different? Yeah, oh, yes. Well, we've done two. Two DIY SOSs, yeah. and we're just waiting for the other, the second one to come on, aren't we? Yeah, so we did no another one earlier this year. Yeah, we're no stranger to TV, are we? Hey, aren't we? Uh, Connor, it was on. It's on. It's on iPlayer Thanks, now. Man. It was the last DIY SOS that was on, but the one we, the one we did recently, me, me, Will, and Emma was in West Bromwich, um, and we built. A, we've built a really unique garden there. It's so like you wouldn't believe it. You'll know it when you see it because it's got a basketball court. A full size one built in there. You'll know it. Um, yeah, and it's the only one of its kind. Yeah, that's it. But if any of you want to see our, our website, it's www.thegardensurgery.com. There's a little plug for our other business. You yeah. can't get wrong there. Well, guys, if you want to keep asking, um, we will do. I'm just, yes. Linda, we actually um, are, we, we actually are doing a garden for a. A show homes online viewer that's going to be quite quite strange he knows who he is yeah he knows who he is but yeah if you um if you ever want any landscaping and you're in the midlands area give us a shot um right so what are we getting on with tonight, well i then? thought we better tell them about what happened with our house well, you tell them the story. It's, well, it's not a very nice story, really. Um, and just get some sad music on we, while Emma we, tells we you. We put our house up for sale at the beginning of October. We sold it very quickly. We were in a small chain of four. We were number three. Um, and ten weeks down the line, on pretty much exchange of contracts day, everyone had signed exchange of contracts day, the bottom of the chain pulled out. So that was it. The whole thing <laughs> fell apart immediately, didn't it, yeah. really? So we were packed up, ready to move the following week. We'd even sold our we sofa. We sold our furniture because we were having a house that was all fully furnished. We so, were sitting on deck chairs. So we've had a very kind of watered down Christmas this year, so, haven't yeah, we? It's not been great. Pretty much the only thing we unpacked was the decorations and, and just the essentials to live on over yeah. Christmas. So yeah. we're back on the market and things are moving quite quickly. So... I'm sure we'll be on the move again early in the new year. I hope, certainly yes. hope so anyway. And we haven't really unpacked, have we? So that's why you can't really see the rest of our house because it's all still in boxes. No, and, and we're still, we actually have been... We had to get another sofa, a new sofa to sit on over Christmas because we didn't like the deck chairs, did we? They weren't very yeah. comfortable. Um, and um, Emma's son's come home as well from um, from London, will, and he's at, and he's had to will. sit on a sleep on a little sofa that's too small. So the house fell through. Steve got the flu, and then the snow came. And do you know what was and worse? Then it was Christmas. What was worse than that? What? I, I I bought we got this t this jumper. That's you know. Um, I'm just looking at some of the questions we've had through. Um, um, so I've just asked, been asked, um, is is show homes looking at show homes your job or hobby? Some people think it's a hobby, but actually we we believe we we, got, we actually get paid for it. We do. We actually get paid for re re reviewing show homes um, because if we're helping helping developers market houses, we want to be paid for it. It's as simple as that, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. So that that's um, and, yeah. And we try and do a very good job at it. I yeah, think. I know, so, I know. And obviously, we we travel all over the country, don't we? Yeah. At great expense, well, but we do anyway. And uh, as much as we'd like to be able to do it for nothing. Yeah, that's it. Well, what I want to do is mix in with our Q and A 
a few things that we, we've done. So what, what me and Emma have been talking is we've been talking about some of the best houses that we've viewed. And I don't know whether when I mention them, you will agree or, or not, or you can remember them, but I will individually pop these onto YouTube, at, uh, onto Facebook at some point, just to jog your memory. So our first category is for the best show home of 2017. Now this is a difficult. This was a difficult one for us, wasn't it? We've had a, a big think about it, haven't we? Today? Yeah. About what? Uh, and we've just wanted well. to go for the best sort of show that's got the biggest wow factor. Um, so, show homes online viewers, what do you think the best show home we have viewed of this year is? Have you got a favourite that you think is your favourite? We know what our favourite yeah. is. Well, there were a few yeah. contenders. Yeah. The high grove is that that's a yeah. red row high the, grove yeah that's not this year though is it no no it is but it's um it, it is it is a very very good house though and that was the high grove in um wolverhampton and stuart's asked a very good question there uh, mm. do you know good something question not everybody stuart not everybody gets it do they you know and I think the main reason is is that some developers very much like to be in control of what they tell buyers. Yeah. And any deviation from that, anything that's out of their control, they absolutely refuse. But what we know is that most developers, particularly the big the big five as we call them, are individual business units all over the country yeah. aren't they the yeah. regions all have their own managing director and their own financial control pretty much and we work differently with different business units across the country with with yeah. those companies some, some developers are really kind of forward thinking yeah. some developers we review for and they they want to they want to actually screen what we actually put on first they want to actually approve our 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 video it's not something we like to do it's not something we like to do but some developers um because they you know i think everybody thinks red road connor red road midlands yes yeah that's it refused. red red road midlands refused um and we but we have good relationships with other other regions other you know regions. so we won't probably not bringing you any red row midlands developments but we will be bringing you more red row um house types um in the near future we're, we're down but we're not out but you know guys if, if you know if you re, if you want us to review any particular company yeah. then the best thing for you to do is get onto twitter and send them a public tweet yeah. saying we, you know, we we're thinking of buying this house, or we want um, Emma and Steve to view it. Hashtag Sherms Online, and that's the way to do it because we need your help. Because, you know, it just takes a lot of effort, doesn't it? Yeah. You know. Yeah. We we have phone calls with them saying we'll take the video down, you know, and and stuff. Not very often, but um, you know, and we we're trying to, you know, you know what we're doing, you get it. It's just we want them to be able to get it as well, you know. We're completely, completely harmless. So, going into the going into the best house type, um, our best house type um, of the year has has to be. If you remember, right back into April, right back, we were looking at the Bovis Homes, Trewsbury at Phillips Lee in Gloucester. Um, if you remember, it's a, it was a lovely big stone kind of cottage it was. Um, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I will post this video up. Well, it um, looked like a stone cottage, but actually it was a five-bedroomed beautiful house, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if any of you remember that Shrewsbury. It's worth a look at if you, if you want to yeah. flick back and jog your memory. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. that's it. So, so that was kind of... We both agreed on that, didn't we? That that was the best show home of the I mean, year. You know I'm a sucker for a Bovis house. You know, I am. I am. I do like their houses. You know, so I'm just going through. With, I'm just trying to, and I'll try and answer as many questions as we can from you guys. Um, now, Richard said it, his was the one with the orangey, with the skylights above the table. Um, orangery? Was, that, was that the Barrett one? Barrett, yeah, yeah, Barrett at Bowbrook Meadows. Bowbrook, the, that's the only one. The Anwick. Yeah, yeah, that's the only one I can I can think of. Um, that was two thousand and 
and 16, I think. Oh, Mia said she bought a house from Metro Midlands. Um, and Linda says she liked the Strata Homes. Funny yeah. enough, I get Strata Homes as well. Strata Homes is kind of... We've done all those lovely reviews and they kind of slammed the door in our face a little bit with them. Mm. Um, and they're doing incredibly well on the channel as well. And they've said, well, our marketing is good enough. We don't really need need to use an addition on it. So that's a bit disappointing. But doesn't mean we're not going to be reviewing their developments. You know, <laughs> we could, you know us, we turn up anywhere. Yeah. Um, you know, um, Simon about galleys. Actually, Simon, we did have a galleys in line for the Christmas special. We did, because um, it was a Christmas house, wasn't it? Yeah. But we just ran out of time. We did, yeah. But I'm actually in talks with, with galleys at the moment, um, and just maybe maybe potentially doing a galleys special, really, with the, with the sister company Cameron Home. So, you know, we've... If you think, if you think, Richard, how long has it been since we've got any Shropshire house types on there? And that's why we've we've included some in the Christmas special because we've really let you know. I think we've really let Shropshire down. Yeah. Really. So we've covered as many as we yeah, possibly you know. could. And there are some there's some really exciting developments coming in in Telford, Shropshire, in mm. 2018. So it's going to be a good year for show homes. I think it is totally. Um, oh, Linda, yes, Ed Sheeran was doing our heads. It, absolutely. <laughs> it's not a good idea, is it? To have was that when we were sitting on the show, sofa? Uh, yeah. It was weird, wasn't it? Well, you had, um, what's her name? Taylor Swift in the one house, <laughs> screeching away. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Ed Sheeran in the other. Couldn't yeah. hear myself. I, in fact, I lost my train of thought because of the music. Martin says he enjoys our reviews of big posh houses. Hello. Um, smaller houses are more um, of the more to his budget. <laughs> I tell you what, you're not going to believe where we're going back to. We're going back to countryside properties yeah. in in Cambridge. They have got a few more new show homes up there, and we have got access to one of the large countryside property You've been invited in one of the big villas that are there. Yeah. Um, that's going to be absolutely amazing, and I'm, I'm sure you guys remember the um, the Wyndham and what was the other one called? I think you now the Wyndham from Countryside Properties, it was absolutely beautiful. Which brings me on to the next, that brings me on to the next category we've got. So, the best overall village we visited. The, the village that's just got it all. Now, we've viewed a lot of villages over, the, over our time, haven't yeah. we? We've all over the country. Yeah. Um, and for me, the Great Standout Village was definitely Great Knighton in, um, in Cambridge, mm. the which was masterminded by Countryside Properties. And if you remember, we did Barrett's Paragon there. Yeah. We had Abode, Novo. It was Bovis. Bovis, yeah, Bovis, yes, that's it's it. Bovis, Paragon. Yeah, yeah. Paragon, yeah. yeah. Um, do you remember those, those black, black, Roofed Never houses, bought. you know. Yeah. They were that. <laughs> they were quite. They were, they were different, weren't it, they? It was an amazing village, actually, wasn't it? Yeah. It, Some, the design was like nothing I'd ever seen yeah. before. And every corner that you went round, there was something different to look at. I actually did an additional video. I think is on Showrooms Online about just about the village itself and what uh, you know yeah. all the different parts of it. So it's worth a look at that. And it won awards. Yeah, it was so exciting. Beautiful, brutalist architecture as well. And you know. some of it is still under construction. Yeah, still building it. Yeah. So, um, oh, Oliver, how you doing? Thank you very much for the brochure. Good lad. Um, no, he's asked us what our, your best house design of the year is. So we're actually, um, we've gone for our best show home, Oliver, was Bovis the Trewsbury at Phillips Lee in Gloucester. We've got a few more categories to go through first. Um, what Sharon says, what house, what, what was the house you liked reviewing the best? One that's just... I think it was that one. The Trewsbury? Yeah, that, that was our best show home, wasn't it? Although, do you know, a close second was Walton Holmes at Devereux Grange, that, that, that beautiful house there with that, the quirky... Do you know what? That was 2016. Oh, it I don't even know what year we're in year. anymore. It feels like it. I think it. we've done so many it, this year. Yeah. I wonder yeah. actually how many we have done in It was in actually year. the end of the previous year. Yeah. So Connor's going on about eco-friendly e, eco houses. Yeah. I think that's something we, I mean, that's what Great Knighton's about. But we're going to, I'm going to make an effort to try and get to down to a few more villages. So we're going to go to Ebbsfleet Village, um, Ebbsfleet City. 
um, Garden City. Um, we're going to go down there and also go down to Tadpole Village as well um, next year and actually see, we, you know, and look into a bit more of what the eco-friendly aspects of, of, of the houses are really, you know. Um, yeah, yes, Pinchbeck, yes, Pinchbeck. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. Oh, okay. well that's another village he's on about. They're everywhere, aren't they? They are, yeah. You know, but when we go to biggest, you know, and we, we welcome your comments. Do you know, your comments in the description in the description box and on the comments on the video are yeah. really, really important. We don't reply to them straight away, but we do have a, like a batch reply. Yeah. And we just, we do reply to them individually, don't we, you know. Um, oh, so Connor Sedgwick lives in Pinchbeck. Yeah. Well, Connor, you're And gonna... we know that the developers read the comments. Yeah. Because they're interested. I think a lot of developers look at the channel, oh, they don't do. they? You know. know they watch it. Yeah. They do. They do. So, guys, the next category is the best five-bedroomed house. Yes. Now, again, that's a tough one because, you know, when you get a good five-bedroomed house, mm. you really get a good, a really nice house type, don't you? You know, you get a really plush house. So, again, f picking a five-bedroom house that really, really was the business yeah. is hard. Yeah. So what we came up with is, I don't know if you remember, this wasn't that long ago. It was Lion Court Homes at Cresswell Manor and it was the Chestnut Show Home. In Stafford. In Stafford. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that was lovely. Beautiful. Just a beautiful, mm. almost almost traditional yeah. looking house that was. So very, very nice. everybody remembers that one. Of course, all of these I will upload over the next week and I will pop, pop them into categories so maybe... Those who haven't seen those yeah, um, will be able to have a look, won't they? Yeah. Um, so, Linda's asked, will we we'll be showing us some modelling homes from Hilton? You uploaded um, with a hurricane blooper. Good question. <laughs> well, actually, um, we are waiting for approval um, from the marketing director at um, St. Modwin. At St. Modwin. Mm -hmm. So, if you can perhaps give the, St. Modwin yeah. a tweet for us. Tweet them. Tell them you're waiting for the videos. Yeah. As soon as they've approved them, we can get them on. We, yeah. we, we would have liked to have got They're them on ready. sooner. Yeah. They were really nice show though, weren't Beautiful. they? Beautiful, yeah. So, Three. Three videos. So tweet St. Modwin and get, so encourage them to hurry up a little bit with yeah. it. Um, but they we did nearly get blown away that day. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd give you that. Okay. Yeah. She's well spotted, though. She spotted yeah. that. Well yeah. spotted, that was. Um but also we've got um, a little show homes online group now where we've got um where you can be invited to you know or, or asked to join it's um show homes online members group and it's just a little place where we put a lot of the outtakes and stuff like that stuff that we can't put on the public page so if you want to join if you want to join it give me a shout and we'll uh, we'll add you in there um so we want to bring you more we want to mean bring you more um more St. Modwin, don't we? we do. But I think they just need a little bit of a push. Um, hello, Joanna. I, hello. Yeah. Good question. Actually, do you know what? Bungalows. I, I'm currently working on some portfolios of, of developers, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a range of videos that show the, a developer's standard portfolio. So if you were thinking of, of buying a house with Taylor Wimpy, you could see all of the house types in this video. It would be really, really handy when I do it. But what I was actually going to say is I've noticed that on on every other development, they've started to include bungalows on there now. Bungalows are making a comeback. And I'm telling you, this is... Yeah. This is... And, and we have news. been to some developments in the last six months where there were bungalows. Yeah. They just weren't as show homes. Yeah. We know that Persimmon built some at Cannock. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. Um, we've seen some on Taylor Wimpies, so we know they do it. Yeah. But we often don't get to, we don't get to look at them. They're all, they're usually sold off plan, well in advance of the opening of the development. Yeah. Um, because they they go like hotcakes, and there's usually only three or five. Well, we've, Charmaine, we've got... Um, yeah, Persimmon do build them quite often, I think, Charmaine. Yeah. Yes. And we are... Um, Charmaine... <laughs> Good, we've got Connor's ass there. Have I ever wanted to steal anything from a show home? I do. Well, well, I do often look at things and think, oh, no, I never have done, ever, no, and wouldn't do. No. Um, and you'd be amazed how many show homes have cameras in them. 
Actually, we were in one the other day, weren't yeah, we? That they had a camera do. in it. They, they watch you from the sales centre. So yeah. lots and lots of them have cameras. And they often have listening devices as well. Um, so no, I wouldn't do. Um, but there was one in particular that stands out, and that was the Walton Holmes one, where they had Louis Vuitton, because if, if, if you know what I like, I do like a Louis Vuitton handbag. Louis Vuitton accessories. Now, I can't be sure they were real, but they were everywhere. And I thought, you are just asking to have those stolen. Not by me, but anybody could have gone in. That was a funny house, that Walton one. Cause it well, it was, it was completely overdressed, I think, but it was beautiful. But, yes, the accessories were lovely. Linda said, is that legal, filming without consent? Well... A showroom is a public, you know, it's... It isn't a public place. Well, it's open, it's to, open the public. to the public. but yeah. it's not a public place because it is... Well, and often it's not even owned by the developer anymore because it's... Usually they're sold immediately and then they're leased back to the developer to use for their own... To use as a show home. Now, it's a funny story. We got asked once by a customer who bought a really big five-bedroom, it's actually six-bedroom Litchfield house type at Baggeridge Park in, um, in Tipton. And they asked us to go and review the show home. And they thought, oh, I wonder what your take is on, the, on, on, their, on their own home. So we went there, didn't we? To do, oh, my God, we didn't get a very good reception, did we? Well, they wouldn't let us, they in, wouldn't wouldn't let us in. in. They wouldn't let us in a house that... Yeah. yeah, they've been they've been really good, haven't they? You know. Yeah. And uh, I hope you've seen the sneak peek of that amazing show home, that big mock Tudor show home at um, at Wedgwood Park, the Oaks. Oh, that yeah. we've we've had a, that was an exclusive preview of that That's amazing coming. show home. It opens in January. Yes. That's um, the pinnacle for David Wilson. So we can't wait to go back there. I'll tell you what, Connor's coming up with some good right, questions here. But let's crack on with this. Right, best four bed. In 2017. Just imagine how many four bedroom houses we have reviewed in 2000. I think we had 58 to choose from, I think. That, that was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah. Four beds. Yeah. And, and the that, winner is. It pains me to say this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the Montreux by Strata. At definition in Derby. Yes. It which, was absolutely beautiful inside, despite the music. But it's but just. The lounge was just mega. I just. Memorable yeah. moment when we were sitting on the sofa with Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I know. But the lounge was huge, wasn't it? And the master bedroom was huge as yeah, well. Yeah, it yeah. was, yeah. It is a very, very good one. So, yeah, that one. Yeah. So, Connor said, what show would, would 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 we visit again? That's funny, isn't it? Which one would we look around again? None. Really? Because there's always hundreds more to look at. I wouldn't. Actually, I did look around another show. I did well, look... you've been in one twice. Yeah. When? I went in the keep moat one in, 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 in Telford about four times. Um, keep those questions coming, guys. Yeah. So, um, our our best three-bedroom category, right? Yes. So, this is our best three-bedroom house. Mm. Now, I would look out um, for some great three-bedroom houses that are being built by Shrewsbury Homes soon. They are bringing some nice, nice houses. Um, Detached. Yes. Three beds. Keep an eye open yes. for those. But this is hard. The best three-bedroom that we we've seen, and it's quite a recent one. It is actually, and this was from the Christmas special we did, yeah. and that was at the S J Roberts' Copthorne house type at Sweet Lake Meadow in Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. I think it was on yesterday or yeah. the day before i think yeah. it, maybe the first day um but actually that was a, i just what 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 was good about that why did we put that in there it was quite unusual i think the shape of it wasn't it no i just think the interior was very warm oh, we and liked welcoming it. it was just a really nice house yeah, that's i a, think it and did. they dressed it beautifully yeah i know it's that's not what everybody gets but it was just a really lovely feel very very nice nice kitchen plenty of room yeah. Just a lot of thought, I think, had gone into the styling of it. It was lovely. So it won. If, yeah, that's what won that one. Um, Simon says, are we going to re review the new Fletcher Homes to under cross houses? Yep, um, we are actually, in, believe in, it or not. In discussion yeah, with Fletcher. Yeah, in the discussion at Fletcher. And we actually are in a Fletcher house at the moment as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, in we, fact, this was the show home yeah. for this development, Yeah. ironically. But Our garage was the sales centre. So what, what I'm saying to a you... A long time ago. A long time ago, in yeah. the 80s. 
Um, right, I was saying, um, yeah, with Fletcher's. They, Fletcher's are one to watch, actually. They've got quite a few developments coming up soon. Yeah. They're buying a few little bits of land, so I think they might be looking at giving Galliers a little bit of a run for their money. But, yeah, as soon as um, the development at Berrington Fields opens, we shall be there yeah. doing the show homes. We're going to try and get a bit more quicker on them and get them on quicker, you know, yeah, for you yeah. guys to do. So next category is the best two bedrooms. Yes. The two bedrooms are just rare, aren't they? Yeah, we don't see them very often. We're going to have to purposely hunt them out a bit more, aren't we? They're not often chosen as the show home. Yeah. That's why, really. Um, and the winner is... Is... Barrett. And that's the Greenway Apartment, and that's in Trumpington, Tr Trumpington Trump Meadows. Trumpington Meadows. And that's in Cambridge. Yeah. Now, I just love that. I love that apartment. I just, the, the view over the, the view over the park, it was just in a beautiful position. It was just a really nice, a really nice apartment, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was lovely. You know. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we'll bring you some more apartments by countryside, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, we've got um, a message here from Jilly. Hello, Jilly. And it, she says, hi, what's the best way to make formal complaints against a developer when the MT is ignoring a collection of owners? So if you're talking about a great, if you rule, obviously, when you're all together, um, when, when making a complaint about, I know you've had some problems on that development that you're on, haven't you? Um, do you know what? I just think pester power is the word, isn't it? The way forward. And I think... Do you know, if it was me, I'd be ringing up every, I would literally yeah. be ringing up every few hours and say, I'm not going to go away, I'll ring you in another couple of hours until you acknowledge me. And that's the best way to do it. We had this with Redro, didn't we? Yeah. Trying to phone them and just phone them and phone them and phone them and just in the end, pestering is even the best. After, even after they'd rung us? Yeah, they trying rung to get us. Back. And we actually went to the sales office quick. It was quicker to get to the sales office than it was to get out, to answer yeah. the phone. Yeah, so I, they're pretty much the same. But pester power is yeah. probably the best. That is probably the best way forward, really. Um, right. So what's next? The on next your list. The next one is the best development. So this is the best housing development we've been to um, overall. Overall. So. Um, I could do with a fanfare really, but I'll, 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 I'll just stick with just telling you. Um, and that is Abode, and that's by Countryside Properties in Cambridge. Cambridge is getting a lot of coverage tonight, yeah, it, isn't it? Yeah, it did win quite a lot of our, <laughs> our categories. It did, yeah. yeah. Countryside, the check better be in the post, okay? Um, we've got some great new countryside properties in Telford to review yeah, soon as well. Are, you know, they, yes. they, they, are, they have come. Um, they, have co um, they have come. So, um, we, yeah, Connor, you know which one it is. Now, Connor's asked us a question. Have we ever reviewed a six-bedroom? I don't think we ever have. We have loads of them. Have we? Oh, yeah. Well, how many five bedrooms? It's got a study which you can make into a, that six bedroom. Oh, but it's not listed as a six bedroom, yeah. is it? There aren't many six bedrooms. You know why they do why they do that? Because it changes the council tax banding. Does it? Yes. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, regarding six bedrooms, all I know is that Bovis have got two house types that are six bedrooms, only two. And David Wilson have got one house type that's a six bed. Can you believe that? Listed as a six bed. Or a were six, you talking about a five listed, bed? Listed as a six bedroom house. So they are really, really rare, and it's um, they're very rare as show homes. Yeah, they? they are. Rare. You know, oh. but I always think I'm always saying, aren't I, when I'm in the show home? Well, this could make another bedroom. That's kind of how my brain works. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, um, and Connor's also said. How do we find the developments to view? Well, that's my job, you see. So um, I am always looking. I've got a broad overview of the whole country of what... Well, I am a housing historian, as you know, and I've got a broad overview of everything that's going on where in the country, countrywide, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so my job is to organise... Emma actually hasn't got a clue where we're going until we arrive there. So I'm in charge of um, organising the trip, aren't I? Yeah, you do the route. Yeah. 
Um, and is there a mi Linda has asked, is there a minimum size of room in order to be considered a bedroom? I don't know. Mm, not, I don't think so. I think so. I think there is if they sell them to housing associations because often um, with the smaller houses, housing associations won't buy them if they're not big enough. Because sometimes developers will offload a large chunk of the development to a housing association if they don't sell do you know, on time. There's only one developer I've seen do that a lot, and that's well. Bell no, Way. I think it. it, it I've seen it with Bell Way. It does go on. I, yeah, I know it's gone on in. in I mean, I, I I know that Bellway in in Telford they they handed a lot of their property over, mm -hmm. and also the same on the staff. And they usually because Bellway end up buying they buy land that's kind of I'm not going to say it's just in challenging areas. Do you know what I mean? And it, it, I think you end up not being able to sell them or, or you're at the, it's slowing down. They're just offloading. I mean, I they? think you should at least be able to get a single bed in it for it to be a bedroom. Because yeah, we see some bed. that are so tight that it's wall to wall, isn't it? So you, that you might get a. a should we be bed able to it? get a single bed and a piece of. and a chest of drawers in there? Yeah, and we've seen some that do. Yeah. But that's it. You wouldn't get another another single thing in there so yeah that's it so, yeah they do jelly you're right keep mode do yeah. yeah yeah i think a lot of them do i do they think... just don't advertise the fact that that's what they do yeah keep mode i think keep mode though they do i think keep mode to developers they really well we know that linden have done that recently haven't yeah they? yeah yeah on one of their developments that we've actually showed yeah they've sold Quite a large proportion of, of that development. But actually, I think keep, keep moat houses are very spacious. I yeah. think you get a lot of room in, in their in their. Um, <laughs> um, What's Connor asked there? What's the cheapest house you viewed? Well, now that's that's an interesting question because obviously house prices vary from one end of the country to the other, and we know of one particular house type because a member of my family bought one um, just outside of Watford and there was a £50,000 difference, wasn't there, yeah. in that house type there to the one they were building in yeah. Shrewsbury. But that's just down to location. But I know a lot of you ask us the prices, but it's very difficult to give you the prices. Yeah. We can only give you a price guide, because, can't we? Yeah, because often some developers will do a deal. They'll, you can negotiate with them. Some of them say they don't do it. The Boxing Day sales, they they give it, they're giving houses away now. But they do. Some of them yeah. don't even do a price list because the price list, the the price of that house will vary from week to week. We want to. Depending on who's asking. And also you've got the help to buy thing as well, which distorts the price. Um, so it's quite a difficult thing. We, we just publish the price that the developer puts on that development yeah come on guys there's nine of you on the channel come on fire some questions at us we're yeah. uh, more than welcome right. what's your next bit right our be best our best our next one up is our best up-and-coming developer so this kind of goes to the developer who is who is it's not hasn't been around for years but are really really making a name for themselves um and their kind of houses are just a little bit different from everybody else's mm. Um, I think this was a clear comp uh, this was a clear winner and uh, you know this goes to St Modwin and the house type the York which we viewed in London um, the one with the hot tub on the roof yeah I just thought their houses are very 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 contemporary and just yeah I just think they breed they breed a different kind of um, house and estate I mean when you if and when we get the Hilton Park development online um, remember, send the guys, send St. Modern Way tweet for us. When we get them online, you'll see a really typical St. Modern street scene. Because um, yeah, you know we do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You yeah. got it. Yeah, and we, and we, um, and we film on the top of the the top of the roof yeah. there as well, don't we? Yeah, as you can see. Yeah. But that was a real good, um, a, re a real good way. Now, guys, what we want to ask you as well, because obviously, you know, we got a lot of questions about our filming. Um, do you think there's anything that you would like to see within the film that we're not doing already? Because what we try to do is try to give you a, a look of what the estate's like, etc. And I know that I I will read out the room sizes 
when I when I've actually got a plan that I'm able to do that from. Do you find that helpful, or do you just look at the description in the box down below? You know, is is it something that's a bit pointless for me to do? Would you rather that I just talked about what I see? Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Right. What you got? What's next? Right. The next. The next um, is the um, the category four. The best interior. So the best interior. So that's the best interior design we've ever seen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's a that's a diff that's a difficult one really. Um, you know, um, we thought we thought long and hard about that about interior design and how something looks. Yeah. And the award for best interior design goes to Jilly Tilly's house, the Keepmoat House in uh, where she lives in Telford. Ah, uh, we're only joking. We're only joking. It, Unfortunately, I although Jilly, your house is very nice. It is one of my favourite house types. Yeah. You know, um, it is the Blore Homes Empire house type, and that's at Ensley in Bath. We did that. I think it was earlier in the year. Yeah, April yeah. time. I think. Yeah. Do you remember like that? that very contemporary? It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, that really two, nice. Didn't that have two balconies? Yes. I think. Yes, it was. Beautiful, it was yeah. beautiful house. So that's really good. Really good. Ah, see, she's laughing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get get on with these. Um, let's get on with these questions. Um, Amanda says about the consumer code, and that's it. You know, I think what like you know the Shrewsbury Homes that Amanda works for. You know, they're a very small developer, but the the care and, the care and attention that they give you. Um, they're, they're they're a fantastic little builder yeah. and. But I also say, just look online, look at the reviews of a de developer, see what other people are saying about them and form your own opinion about them, really. You know, all we are... But, all... having said that, often the only people that post online are the ones that aren't very happy. Yeah. You don't hear from the thousands of people who've had a good experience or who are generally quite happy with their home. <laughs> Linda said we ought to leave the bloopers in. Oh... No, we like to save those up, don't we? Yeah. And, yeah. I actually have got a good collection of because bloopers. Because there's, there's such a lot as well. But I say, if you join um, the members area, send me a, send me a PM on Facebook, yeah. a bit of message, and I'll add you into the um, into our, our members-only kind of group, really. And it's just for our, our showings online viewers that are with us all the time. And then you can see some stuff in there, some pictures and stuff that we share that we wouldn't put on the normal channel. Mm -hmm. Um... So that's that. That's um, what we do. Yeah. So Stuart asked, "Am I? Have we any pl plans to name the Bowers show him after?" We yeah, not a lot of people probably know this, but um, I actually had a house type named after me called the Bowers, um, and that was by Walton Holmes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we've never reviewed it. Actually, we've never had it as a show end, did they? But I'm expecting Walton to send me a big laminate board in. Um, shortly and what was really surreal is when you're in the show home and somebody's talking about your house type the bowers and you we, didn't, we, we were invited to go and have a look around it though but it was empty wasn't it i didn't it, really feel it it was a, a view home yeah yeah kind of you know, but when Empty you when, floorboards and but it's one of those things when you see your name in a brochure, that's a dream come true. That is, yeah. Um, I think I think there was only one other thing that I would probably like that. To, I, I like, I'd like a development named after me now. That'd be my next goal. <laughs> or we do a show home garden. I'd like to do that. So um, Simon says he, Simon, um, Simon says I like the Simon says he likes the room sizes to be included. I think that's very oh, important, okay. that is, isn't it? Yeah. You know. Um, okay. Where are they? Where are they then? Bring on the bloopers. Um, you wouldn't believe it, but particularly the the beginning bit that Steve does, you know, where he's outside the house. Sometimes we film that before we go in. Sometimes we do it afterwards. Sometimes we do all the show yeah. homes and then we do them all in one go. And that bit can take ten goes sometimes. Yeah. Because you get the road sweeper that goes past or you've got the diggers on site you've got all the guys shouting and whistling and deliveries <laughs> coming by or just to the, prove the bin men you name it there can be anything can't there motorbikes going past yeah. you have to stop start again do, but it, it, again, does do it. it again do it again or steve forgets where he is yeah. or he says something wrong and ten goes 
it, it actually is very hard to do that. So Tango's. say I did it off on. So I'll go, hi, it's Steve here from Showrooms Online, and we're outside the Taylor Wimpy house, the Haddenham in Stone in Staffordshire. What a beautiful look. You, know, it, <laughs> you just do it, don't you? Then, you can't do that, though, can you? Because I can never remember where we are. But then the bin men go past, and I have said, do it again. Yeah. And we actually film the external. In fact, we did one, one of the Christmas ones. We would we were doing it, and the ro the road was covered in mud because it's a, a new site that's under construction. That was kind of the last couple of days before Christmas, wasn't it? And the road was covered in mud because all the snow had mounted. So the road sweeper was coming along, and there were cars parked outside the showroom, and the road sweeper splattered mud didn't it up everybody's yeah. cars and it was everywhere in every direction wasn't that side a, of the wasn't road. that amanda's site no that was we it was we yes it Manor. was it was but amanda's site if you remember um when we went there was the road sweeper there as yes well? it, yeah it was but we had to turn to turn the machinery off didn't we to do the the, the tape to do the outside bit but believe it, very or, good though, yeah, but believe it or not we actually have two cameras to film with we have a camera to film outside because of the noise and we try to keep the noise Try to keep the the noise from the wind out of it, yeah. and then we've got a more nimble camera to move around the outside, the inside interior. Really, yeah. um, you know, I mean, I've I've tried to improve the viewing experience by slowing down, you know, having pans and stuff like that. Really, Emma's trying to get me more serious, though. You know, well, I just think if there's anything else you want to see. Let us know. That's it, that's it. So Richard says, have you any advice for what to do with a with a new home that's got a tiny garden? Well, call the garden surgery. <laughs> Come on. Have a look at our website. There's plenty of advice on there. www.thegardensurgery.com. Plug. Yeah, well, and our Facebook page as well. <laughs> that's yeah. it, that's it. Um, Connor great? says he doesn't like view homes. No, I'm not a fan, really. No, it's we hard to be, it's hard to be descriptive isn't it about and, about it and they do it to just keep the cost down of the show homes really that that's um linda said they need a cardboard cutout of me to put in the show home they'd never sell a house would they you'd be like the um the cardboard policeman at pound stretcher you know <laughs> nobody's bothered by him and either are they <laughs> no i mean do you think people walk in and just think what have you done that I've for Punching the cardboard, please. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, Connor says, um, I struggle with anything not done in feet, laughing out loud, from Kaz. Yeah. But what? There, there just isn't enough time to read both, I don't think. Yeah. That's why I put it in the description box down below. And to be honest, I only work in metres. Steve, being a landscaper, works in feet. And anything that's... I can read so it. when I'm designing gardens, I have to do two sets of measurements. That's it. Yeah. Connor says, how do we feel that we've nearly reached 7,000 views? It's 700,000 700,000. 7,000. 7,000. <laughs> well, it's a little <laughs> underwhelming. I think we got that in the first week, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> 7,000. I think Seven, you lot need to up your game. 700,000 views is, is massive, isn't it? it from the channel that we started from nothing, it will be mega. And... Of course, the next thing after that will be a million views, and bring it on. It will be absolutely fantastic. I, I think, I'm hoping that by Easter, we, we reach a million views. Maybe before, that would be absolutely fantastic. That's unbelievable though, isn't it? Yeah. Really. We still yeah. don't, we, you know, we're still surprised that you actually just watch me and Emma yeah. looking around show homes. It's, it's... Yeah. Um, it's 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 and the fact that you know you come in here but they say to me you know there's a whole a whole there's this thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have never heard of us well, that know. is a good question and thank you for asking it connor because i'm the one that deals with all the statistics and the analytics of running a youtube channel and i monitor that very closely because i'm very interested in in who views the videos and, and how the videos perform, essentially. Because they, and that's why we try and improve them, because we want you to watch them because they're good and that they're informative and, and that they're entertainment as well, because that's, that's why we do it as well, isn't it? And, yeah. You know, we try and have a bit of a laugh and there's a bit of banter while we do it. Yeah. Although a lot of that is just the way that we really are. Uh, no, and, um, yeah, she gives me the stare. Do the stare now. That. Like that. <laughs> And then it's cut, and I'm going, what yeah. are you looking at me like that for? Yeah. 
Because Emma, That's Emma, the wife there. That yeah, is. Emma, Emma, Emma doesn't think you. We, I'm allowed to make mistakes while I'm doing my intros, and then when she makes the mistake, right? Connor's asked the the question: What is the most viewed video on your channel? <laughs> you, I thought well, that would that be asked. Oh yeah, he's on it tonight, Connor, isn't well he? Well done there, Connor. Well, unsurprisingly, it is a persimmon house type. Um, persimmon is our top performing developer um is it a it's a rosebury isn't it or a, it's a rufford i think a rufford yeah. and a rosebury yeah those two house types are in the 20 to thirty thousand views aren't they crazy isn't it yeah. crazy you know guys and it's really important that you know you spread and, the well anything by persimmon yeah it's very well viewed it's but you know, and then I, you know, I like, I can't say, I, I don't mind persimmon houses, you know. Do you know we went to a persimmon site this week, last week, yeah, um, and uh, and we got we like got, we got recognised by everybody. They were buyers in the sales <laughs> centre. The sales staff knew who we were, and and they had a, a road super as well. And in fact, while we were there, the police pulled up outside to arrest somebody in the next house that was in stoke but yeah the road <laughs> the road sweepers were, were splashing mud all up the up the fence and oh we have, in fact we got out the way because we were going to get just splashed. for the record it wasn't amanda's road sweeper was it no it was a different it one. was a taylor wimpy in fact, road pretty much everywhere we've been there's been a road yeah, sweeper. actually and amanda's amanda's builders were actually they very were, considerate they were, were they, they were lovely and they, they, were they lovely you know anyway. they, they stopped building beautiful houses just for one for one second you know um, um, so just carrying on, um, Linda says we're celebrities in our eyes. Well, when we get to the point where we have to, we, we will do a regional meet and greet. <laughs> I can you imagine that? If we did a regional yeah. meet and greet, do you think, uh, would anybody turn up, do you think? <laughs> oh my god. Um, how many, um, Kaz has asked, how many houses um, would, have, have we seen that we would have moved into? Well, well, that one, that, that Lyndon Holmes one yeah, this the, week. The Lyndon one that was on on Boxing Day. Did you did you put that on, on Boxing Day? Yes. I actually said to the sales lady, I could just turn up with my suitcases and move into this because it was absolutely beautiful. And you know, well, you've obviously seen from the Christmas videos that you've seen so far is that I'm a bit of a sucker for a Christmas tree. I love Christmas and absolutely go to town normally when we're not all packed up yeah we do make yeah. I, I make a big effort at christmas um but that linden house was was beautiful the bedrooms were were huge it was just perfect come on thumbs up the for kitchen the... was perfect uh, yeah it is. thumbs up for that linden house that yeah. one we on the christmas special yesterday's house i think it was boxing day's house yeah thumbs up to that i reckon um, it was about four hundred and forty thousand. Linda, um, Linda says we were happy that you moved the rubber duck from the shower into the ensuite bathroom um, at the Stuart Mill Development. You're not going to believe this, Linda, but someone actually told me off about that. They said you should leave that rubber duck there because it's part of the show home staging. There might have been a reason. I just said there was no reason. you let me know the reason why that rubber duck was in that shower. Then a rubber duck belongs in the bath, doesn't it? I wasn't I wasn't happy with that, that's why I moved it. Okay. We haven't got any in our rest. <laughs> um um how many sites do we visit a week? There is no amount. We can do seven a day. No. The or most more. we've ever done in one day I think was twelve. And that was absolutely flat out where they were all in quite a close location, weren't they? Um, I think an average is about seven. This sarcastic. Um, yeah, about seven. Maybe where you've got a couple on the same development, and then you've got others, you know, within within a few miles. But otherwise, if they're quite spread out, if you've got an hour in between each one, then then that limits what we can get to. But there is no amount in a week. This week we haven't done any, have we? Because we had a bit of a mad couple of weeks before Christmas where we did loads. I want to try and do a record of how many shows we can actually view in, in one day. 
Um, the other day we were out we were out videoing part of the Christmas special, and the last show on we did was dark, wasn't it? it was, yeah, it was and dark. Were, and then quite literally. And that was only four o'clock in the afternoon. No, it had gone dark. Yeah, it by then. And we were in the village. We were in the ta- um, the little town of Olsager, just on the outskirts of Cheshire, and there was like loads of show homes in this one little on the, in oh, this one little town, we'll wasn't there? back there. In fact, it was going dark when we came out of the Persimmon House, wasn't it? Yeah. So we'll do that, yeah. but also I, we will we will bring you a live review one day, a, a live review looking around the house, maybe maybe in Cambridge, you know. Um, Connor said to me, Steve, what word would do you say the most when describing a house? That's just well, I think they should tell us because I bet they know what, Come you, on then. what you say the most. <laughs> Because you do repeat yourself a lot, I think. I know, OK. Go on, what's Steve's favourite word? <laughs> Come on, Connor. Steve's favourite word? Good size. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two words. I think you say nice a That's lot. very nice. Nice. But what? OK, then. Right, oh yeah, yeah the, very nice. this is it, the quiet yeah. ones here, look, the lurkers, like yeah. Martin, the lurkers are there, then they come in when there's a bit of controversy going on here, yeah. look, you know. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Um, yeah, we Look at the detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always say that outside. <laughs> <laughs> look at the detail. <laughs> well, come on then, what other words can we say? What other words can we say? Well, like you always say it's quintessential. Quintessential. I try to make myself Simon look... or Taylor Wimpy. Yeah. Particularly Taylor Wimpy because you, you like their back catalogue, don't you? Ah, yeah. but that brings me to the point. Have I uploaded? Oh, no, I haven't done it yet. You... Right, Stuart said something there. Do you have a large number of reviews filmed ahead of uploading? Yes, we do. Yes, they're all... Actually, there's there's a playlist. There's, there's like um, the Christmas playlist is all... Uploaded. We just have we just have it on yes, uh, private. It's on private until they're released. But we are well into January and beyond. Oh, we have got. Filmed. We've so, been very busy, haven't we? Yeah. Chris White Render. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. He does yeah. say that. Chris, look at that Cri- rugged render. Yeah, because sometimes it's smooth <laughs> render. Sometimes it's very bumpy, <laughs> lumpy. Isn't Do you know, it? right? You there is only a limited palette we can use, isn't yeah. there? And obviously, you, you can only describe what you see because somebody else's house in that house type but somewhere else on a different development may look completely different. They're taking the piss here, yeah. aren't they? Um, make a coffee. <laughs> with all she them. keeps interrupting. Well, you know, I've got to. She does, doesn't she? Tell you what, it's Kieran. I have to. She does, doesn't she? I Always. And I'm there when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm going on my flow. But the, on the next couple of videos, actually, what we've done is um, I've actually showed you, I've got my new home to story and hat on, and I'm actually showing you what the house types look like before. Really interesting com- what stuff's coming up. Um, but, uh, yeah. So what I want to do is I want you guys to go on the Facebook page and I want you to tell me as many words that we can use alternatively to what yes. we for nice etc etc alternative words to the ones I use and we will try and get them into the into the next review for you with your very nice sanitary wear sanitary wear <laughs> <laughs> sanitary wear sanitary <laughs> yeah sanitary oh yeah look Connor Emma opens doors before Steve walks in she does that don't you well, that's probably more to do with Emma's editing yeah or the fact that Steve's the other side of the fence, yeah. So if you actually wonder how it actually actually works, when we when we review it, Emma, I actually compile all the video, so I get all the pictures together, all of the information. Emma puts it together and edits it. I then check it over, upload. I do everything social media, except you do Instagram, don't you? Because I can't, uh, I can't do that. Because I'm very nosy and I like looking at everyone else's. Instagram pictures. We did try some. I love Instagram. Yeah. Um, how about some mics? Now we did try mics before, didn't we? We tried that, yeah, and it didn't really work, did it? We had a lot of bother with. It was with, disastrous. With the sound quality. Yeah. It yeah. Was. Yeah. Yeah. So, it was that disastrous that we had an. Um, so, well, the the cameras that we've got seem to work. Okay, guys. Very well. What words does Emma use a lot? What words do you use a lot of? Come on, Emma words. It's all right you lot picking on me, isn't it? 
I think she... Hmm. I think you're annoying her. You do interrupt me a lot. Yeah. Don't you? You do, yeah. you do interrupt me a lot. And, uh, gosh. <laughs> gosh. <laughs> you say gosh? Probably. I don't know. Actually, Emma does this a lot, doesn't she? She goes, walks into a room and then goes, <gasps> Yeah. Like that, the, <gasps> Yeah. Or gets excited. Have you, have you ever seen get Emma get excited like, like that? that I do at Christmas trees, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how long does it edit, ed, t take to edit a review? So, think about it takes us to re record a review 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Depends. Big houses, it takes longer. It can take up to an hour to film a, big, a bigger house. You can yeah. be in and out of a Hanbury in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we call persimmon the money shot, don't we? Because we're just straight in and out, you yeah. know. We're no, we're no bother, and we just yeah. get them in. But then it takes me probably thirty minutes to compile all the information for the video. That's all of the pictures. But separate all it, the videos. It, will, it can take me an hour. Yeah, to put a video. To edit it. Then it will take me another. So you're probably looking per video. Two hours? Two hours. Two maybe. hours including two hours including well, videoing it, producing it and no, uploading it. If you're including filming it as well, it's maybe it's longer than. Yeah. Two to three. Yeah. Yeah. But I suppose doing the Christmas ones, they you did a lot of the um, Christmassy music and that, didn't yeah, you? I did all the of only it. thing that worries us about the Christmas ones is that when it comes to You're watching them in the summer. Yeah, when it's in the middle of the yeah. summer and you're watching them, so that's not gonna be um here we go. Yeah, you right. could get a bigger bed in there if you wanted. So this is this is stuff that Emma says, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> go on then. It's not the plan; it's the other way around. Oh, the plans—they're the bane of my life. They really. I, are. I can see the plan the opposite way easy, and I have to tell her all the time about. Even though I say take five minutes before you go in, because we don't go in. We it's not pre rehearsed No. The moment we go through that door. But, I'm all, but the downstairs. It's fairly self-explanatory. We know what a kitchen is. We know what a lounge is. We know what a study is. It's when we get upstairs, and it's back to front, yeah. that then I can't always figure out which bedrooms are which, which are at the front, which are at the back. Because some of the plans are very confusing, and some of them don't even have bedroom one, bedroom two. It's just a picture. Like Strata, we're doing a like lot. Like Taylor Wimpy. Yeah. They don't have any um, no. identification on their plans. So Emma, 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 Emma phrases is room for additional furniture a lot. Room for additional furniture. So there's no window. Yeah. Integrated appliances. You could get a <laughs> You could get what? A much bigger bed in here if you wanted. Well, because not everybody has a double bed, do they? Do you know why? Right, actually, when we look at it, you guys probably watch our videos. As, you know, as soon as they're you know on the day it's uploaded or what have you. Or if you're, um, uh, you like to look in, like somebody, a lovely lady today was in the bath. Mia, she was in the bath watching them today. How does that work? A bath with an iPad? I don't know. Mm. Anyway, it's her birthday, so happy birthday, Mia, today. I don't know how old she is, though. Um, and, um, yeah, and I lost my train of thought there. You were talking about what I say. Yes. Um, Steve's thumbs up. Yes. Steve's thumbs up. Yeah. I was just thinking, do you think... I suppose I get very excited about the interior design. Yeah. The nice furnishings. The, the way that the house is put together. You're... You, you, you know. You're all right, but you're not really that the, the, bothered about Right. The, the, the thumbs up I did on the videos was a really, actually, a bit of a piss take. Oh, the thumb... Yeah, I put the thumbs up on you. Yeah. No, no, no. The thumbs up that I do. I did a couple of discreet thumbs up. You might not have seen them. Well, that was a long time ago. Um, no, it was on Strata, it was. Now, why I did the thumbs up was actually a piss take on Paul Hollywood, because Paul Hollywood has the handshake. Yeah. And that mine's the thumbs up. I haven't done any more since then. I just thought I'd tell you that. Um, so, um, Linda says, um, only a, just a preference. Don't put too much polish on the video. We prefer it more natural. Does everyone else agree? Polish. polish. What do you mean by polish? Mm. Give us. Let us know. Look, you know, we're all we're open. We have cut them back quite. A, obviously, the Christmas ones are a bit jangly, aren't they? Yes. But they're, you know, that was yeah. just a bit of a treat. But yeah, we've 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 slimmed them back. Yeah, we tried to. to make my life easier with editing, actually. Yeah, I mean, 
to, to, in fact, yesterday we watched back some of our old ones. Yeah. Well, even from a year ago, and we just cringed. We just said how how they've changed such a lot, haven't they, in that time? She's saying um, no rehearsal, just go in and do it. The, pro we don't. The, the problem we've got is is obviously you know we want to we, we obviously you know we've got bills to pay. We want to we want we obviously make a business out of this. You know, and if we, we do that, then we've got to be able for the developers to be able to share those videos and use them in their own marketing. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to come over. It's a fine line between becoming appearing to be amateur, because I think they, they sometimes think we're a bit amateur, but actually we're not. We do everything. We sell houses just the same as anybody else does. You know, we're here to show you what's, what's available. Um, it's like Amanda's, Amanda's Bradfield. You know, if somebody goes down there and say, "I saw that video and Sean's online," can they have a look at you know the house type? That's that's what it's all about, really. Um, Amanda says the plans the opposite way round are called handed. It's an easy way to see handed is to hold the plan close to light and look at them from the back of the page. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, um, and. Are you guys doing any reviews in the Leicestershire? I think I better be on that question. I will tell you about what our plans are for 2018. Yeah, because we're nearly out of time. We, right? we are, so we are, we this. are, we are, we are heading north. Yeah. Um. So I'm, I'm at the moment looking at areas um, of Lancashire, yeah. North Yorkshire, um, Nottinghamshire, um, and off, off, up into Scotland. We're talking. Yeah, we do we're, have some some scottish developers who are we're in talks with at the moment yeah. um so which would be yeah. which would be quite nice um so we we are doing that but also we we're, we're going to cambridge we'll be going back down to cambridge we will hopefully go into a really nice countryside properties village in essex um but obviously we're going to ebbs fleet as well so we're going to try and get around and i also want to go to tadpole tadpole village as well so we've got a lot planned next year we don't know you know we would we would we would love to be able to do this full time and yeah. you know um you know and that, that that's hopefully what the plan is but um you know we'll see how it goes yeah. but we are you know we are we are moving um moving away or away from um the landscaping in a kind of way yeah. but um yeah so i think we'll wrap it I up that's it then yeah yeah we'll wrap it up and um don't forget we've got a few more um lovely show homes to view well there'll be another christmas one every day yeah for the rest of the week till new year's day i also want to um, tell you about normal service will yeah resume after that a normal, three times a week normal service yeah is three times a week so that's monday wednesdays and fridays yeah. it'll uh, the video won't be on at a set time um at the moment the christmas videos are on at 9 a.m um but the other videos will be on at some point during that day um and we share the information about them over facebook and and twitter as well yeah. you know yeah. um so you'll be able to see them and also we're developing at the moment our pinterest page so you'll be able to see a lot of the images that you can't see on Facebook, which will be on our Insta in our, our um, <clears throat> Pinterest page. So we're developing our Instagram and our Pinterest at the same time, aren't we? You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, well, I hope you've um, enjoyed that little Q and A. We've obviously enjoyed speaking to you guys as we yeah. always do. Thank you for your company. Yeah. It's, it was very quintessentially good, you know. Um, and we're probably enough room for a bed in here. Uh, uh, additional, there's no room for additional furniture. But there is no integrated appliances in my kitchen. Yes. Unfortunately. No, we have in, no, no integration. No integrated. But it is high gloss and soft clothes. So there you <clears> go. <throat> now next year, I want to invite a Lucky Showrooms online viewer to come and do a review with us. And actually, um, no. What I'm sure you'd be up for that. So, if you fancy doing a review with Showrooms Online, inbox us, and uh, maybe you'll be the lucky one, and you can you join us on a review at some point. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.